Hey guys, Mr. Hila again. Um, so we are on chapter two, lesson 2.4. Um, we're going to be analyzing some new data about Gale Town. So um, now that you've learned more about weather, weather, it's time to create a more complete explanation about why the rainstorms in Gale Town have become more severe. Today, you will review important new temperature data about Gale Town that Dr. Emerson has sent. And from this data and all that you have learned, you're gonna be able to explain how temperature affects the amount of rain in Gale Town. Rooting us back, um, unit question is why do some rainstorms have more rain than others? And then our chapter two question is why is the amount of rain in Gale Town different from storm to storm? Um, key concepts just from um, chapter two, the troposphere is warmest at the surface, surface and coldest at its highest point. Just remember that the troposphere is that um, part of the atmosphere that is closest to the surface of the earth. Um, if an air parcel is warmer than the surrounding air, it'll rise. As an air parcel rises, energy transfers from the warm air parcel to the cold surrounding air until temperature becomes equal. And then when an air parcel starts with a higher temperature, it will rise higher and lose more energy causing more rainfall. All right, so let's just jump in um, to that warm up that it probably has you um, thinking about the things that I just talked about. All right, so we've gathered data about the air temperature before the storms started in Gale Town and added it to the data table. Look carefully at the data for storms two and three below. We think the temperature differences could be an important factor that can help explain the severe storms from Gale Town. All right, so storm two. Um, had a high of 27 degrees Celsius, was about 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And storm three had a temperature um, before the storm of 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know where you guys are, but 104 is miserably hot. Um, in Denver, when it is 81. <laughs> It is miserably hot too, but 104 is just horrible, terrible, no good, very bad. Um, I am not a fan of the hot weather at all. If you are a fan of the hot weather, that is wonderful and amazing and good for you. I just cannot stand hot weather, <laughs> which is why I moved to Colorado to get away from that hot, hot Texas weather. So one of the claims that is used to explain the severe rainstorms in Gale Town is this. Warmer weather caused Gale Town to have more severe storms. Do you think that a higher temperature is affecting the amount of rain? So let's think about that. What have we seen so far? We have seen that when there is more energy from the sun transferred to the surface of the lake, that creates more water vapor, and that water vapor is able to rise higher. Since it's able to rise higher, it loses more energy, so the water vapor condenses more rain. So higher temperature has got to affect the amount of rain. And using evidence from the table above, <laughs> Um, thinking about here that 81 degrees versus 104 degrees, that if I'm inputting more um, energy from the sun, making it warmer, um, then we're probably going to have more water vapor, and then we're going to have more, um, we're going to have that water vapor rising higher, making bigger, bigger clouds. And then as it is rising, those vapor droplets are condensing and then falling down like rain. Hey guys, do you remember the itsy bitsy spider? And um, that just reminded me of the itsy bitsy spider as I did that. All right guys, so let's work on our word relationship routine. Okay, so our question is, why is the amount of rain in Gale Town different from storm to storm? So I've got um, I've got my word bank here. Um, and then um, I'm thinking about like how do I use air parcel and water vapor and troposphere and transfer and energy all to answer this question right here. And like I said, when I normally do this with my students in person, I try to challenge them um, to use as many of the words um, as possible. But 
um, since we are in a different um, a different time, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use it for you. So the amount of rain in Galetown is different in Storm 2 and 3 because the, get ready for this, it's fun, the air parcel from each storm have different temperatures. An air parcel with a higher temperature leads to more rainfall and the temperature of storm three is higher than the temperature in storm two. The air parcel for storm two rose higher into the troposphere. So it lost more energy as it cooled. More energy transferred out of the air parcel for storm three as it rose. So more water vapor condensed, more condensation created, more rainfall for storm three than storm two. Okay, so I'm gonna read that straight through um, for you guys, because maybe you didn't think it was as cute as um, I did, but here we go. The amount of rain in Galetown is different in storm two and three because the air parcels for each storm have different temperatures. An air parcel with a higher temperature leads to more rainfall, and the temperature of storm three is higher than the temperature of storm two. The air parcel for storm two rose higher into the troposphere, so it lost more energy as it cooled. More energy transferred out of the air parcel for a storm as it rose, so more water vapor condensed. More condensation created more rainfall for storm three than storm two. So that was a lot of words, okay? Um, one of the things I love about Amplify is that we go from models to words to simulations and back um, every which way to make sure that we really understand this. So in activity three, we're gonna make a model that explains what this is good what this looks like and what this means.